No, that way. Bit more. Bit for... That's it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Sorry. There we go. Here we are. Back once again for another episode of Is It? Phew, that's uh, well done. Okay, good. So, uh, what are we looking at today, Sean? Nice mug, by the way. Hmm. Thanks to our friends at Austrian Audio for the mugs. Mm. We must mention, by the way, we've been using these mics for a while now. And they're they're the nuts. We they love are. Them. We are. Yeah. We are today, Dan. We are. We are. They are. They, they are. are. They are. And we are looking at the Kiev Filk Channel Mark Kiev. Two. Kiev. Kiev. Yeah. Mm. Filk Channel Mark Two. Filk. Filk. <laughs> Sounds dirty. It does sound. You've had a good filking <laughs> yeah, recently, good filking. Dan. Filking. Yeah. Yeah. I've got filks last yeah, night. Got a straw. <laughs> yeah. Got a straw. <laughs> I need a shower. <laughs> Someone filked all over me. <laughs> oh dear. The filking. We're so childish. Yes, we are. Anyway, yeah. so talk to me about Kiev Audio's filk. <laughs> I'm going to struggle with that now. <laughs> so the Filk Channel Mark II um, yeah. is basically, it looks like a little 500 series rack, but actually it's based on what was called Dana cassette modules, which was like a precursor to 500 series. Neumann made a bunch of these different modules that went in this rack. And yeah, you could get, you know, you could get a saturation unit, you could get EQs, you could get compressors. And things like the W495, which we reviewed a while back from Pulsar, that would have originally been a Dana cassette module. Which oh, was right. That was what they were. You buy these things modular, put them in a rack, or you could buy a desk back in the day mm. and put all the different modules There's in There's been it. a bit of a run of these sort of 500 series. Uh, well, there's uh, been loads of them there. SSL did the X-Rack, which now they've sort of... Yeah, they're I mean, moving the, away the, from that. And in doing, the plugin realm. Didn't yeah, in we the plugin do PSP realm. have done PSP one. did the Infinity Strip. Yeah. We did the one from Noise Ash. Yeah. We did... Oh, there's, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, We're looking yeah. at another one coming up soon, actually. McDSP one. Yeah, it's it's a popular thing. And obviously, it's the way that Slate Digital does all their stuff. Because you mm. can just combine lots of different cool things into a... It's into a good a, idea, isn't it? It's good for building your own kind of presets mm. for things. Yeah. So tell us a bit about it, then, the Filk. So the Filk. So we basically have two different pre's you can choose from with saturation you have two different compressors mm -hmm. and you have three different eqs um it's got to be said that they're all pretty awesome are they messing with them it's very simple but it sounds great and i've i've already used it that mix i played you earlier i've already used it on a parallel drum bus mm -hmm. also on the actual drum bus it's it's just it's got such a good sound to it uh, the compressor, especially that that one which we're looking at at the moment, compressor yeah. one, yeah, that's my favourite thing that I've got on the screenshot. So the pre one, the compressor one, and the EQ three for me, that is just an awesome sound. Um, it's drag and drop, so you can move any of them into any order. Mm -hmm. You can only have three, but any order. Um, it's got oversampling. Presumably, you could have multiple instances though if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Just mm. open another one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's um, a very cool sounding thing. And it's, it's, it, I like the fact that it's based on, you know, some old tech. I mean, this was like 78 to 84 mm -hmm. Dana modules were made. So it's long gone. But it's quite cool. Yeah, yeah. That someone's modeling that stuff. Because that stuff now goes for a fortune. Gives us something to talk about. It does give us something to talk about. <laughs> there is that. Yeah. But yeah, it's, um, it's very cool. And it's, it's, it, I mean, it generates a lot of harmonics. I'll, I'll put a screenshot up. Of, of what I'm talking about. Yeah. This was another set of modules, a different EQ and a different compressor. You can see the harmonics in, in plugin dots. I think it's probably worth uh, men mentioning, you know, we get uh, crit not criticised. No, we criticised. Is that what you're no, talking about? Exactly. We'll exactly. track them down. But we don't do use examples. But we all don't. Sean tests all of these through Plugin Doctor, tests all of these plugins. Yeah, not, not always Plugin Doctor. I always actually use them in a session, mm. try them out, see if they're any good or not. I, I don't just, you know, look at them and listen to the demos online. I do my own demos. I don't read manuals. I figure I just need to read. be able to work. Well, I can't read. So I need to be able to work it out myself, decide whether it's worth using or not. And now and again, I'll put it in a plugin doctor. And, and simply because this sound is so thick, mm. I'm like, there's a lot going on here. So I put it into plugin doctor. You go to the harmonic analysis bit, and there it is. Awesome it's, stuff. Um, it's thick. And even when uh, the reason I did that screenshot is if you look, the saturation is set to zero, and yet still the harmonics are full on. Amazing. So, um, Amazing. Yeah. Do we get a demo? There is a full 14-day demo. It's worth... Is it from... Key, did you get it from the website, the Keeve website? Yeah, just got Keeve, yeah. Yeah, I think it's worth going to look at the Keeve website. We've done a few Keeve plugins, and they're, they're all... There's something I need to mention as well. Keeve, right now, are giving away a their version of the Paltec. Wow. For whatever reason, they've suddenly 
decided to make a poll tech and it's free so uh, as soon as we finish filming I'm going to go and grab that yeah um, loads of tutorials online about how to do the uh, pull tech the pull tech trick the pull tech trick yep. worth going to have a look at Definitely. so free pull tech video for the pull tech trick go and have a look um, but that's not what we're talking about right now so no. Sean the Kiev Felch Channel Mark 2 yes uh, is it shit do you want to know how much it is uh, no I can see <laughs> shall we tell them yeah um, <laughs> the view, the viewing several. The viewing several. Uh, I can't read my own writing. I think it looks like 105 quid. It, no, it's 50. It's now 57. Ah, okay. It's 57 in the sale. You see, okay, so it brings us back to that 100 pound mark, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that's your limit, isn't it? Mm. Something's 101. You're not having it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, every man's got to have his limit. Every man's got to have his limit. Yeah. Yeah, so true. But currently, 57 is that. 57 which i would highly recommend yeah i'd pay 57 for it yeah yeah that, that's a good deal i think mm. yeah Ke anyway check out the keith website yeah but yeah full 14 days it's scalable that is it's gone it, it looks big on the screen over there i'm slightly conscious we keep looking over there we might have to move that screen sean yeah yeah um so uh, i can't make the felt joke again now can i because i've already i've, I've got ahead of myself and i cra <laughs> cracked it before we told him how much it was so the uh the key filk channel mark two sean is it shit no definitely not it's a really nice plug-in i i very much like keeve everything they've done has yep. been pretty awesome so go and have a look um but again as always please like the video and subscribe to the channel we also have an instagram which is studio life 101 yeah there's a patreon there's a merch store a whole bunch of other stuff and it's all down there so go and do that and until next time sayonara suckers catch you later